One of our favorite guests joining us in studio this morning is registered dietitian and cookbook author Bianca Plant. Good morning to you, Bianca. Good Thanks morning. for being with us. Thank you. So we're talking about obviously an important topic, October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, talking about ways we can maybe reduce our risk and eat healthier foods to maybe, you know, deter that from happening. Um, so right. I want to start off by talking about the stats for mm -hmm. when it comes to breast cancer, Bianca. Yes. So according to the National Cancer Foundation, one in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Even men yeah. do get breast cancer as well. Of course, there are many thousands that do succumb to this cancer, but there are millions that survive. So that's something we can definitely celebrate as well. Absolutely. And speaking of, of course, all about breast cancer awareness and being healthier, obviously what we eat and what we do, our activities, how can we reduce our risk, but also some healthier lifestyle choices, right? Yes. So so definitely lifestyle cha choices and changes to make now to reduce our risk of cancer and going into the holidays, you want to think of color, right? So we're always, you know, when we're thinking about Thanksgiving and Christmas, it's like gravies and meat and cornbread dressing. We never think about the colors. Yeah. So the colorful vegetables that we need to incorporate to decrease that risk are like our oranges and reds leafy greens, broccoli, cabbage, greens, kale, uh, sweet potatoes, red peppers. So those all have our antioxidants that decrease our risk for cancer. All right, some important things to remember. And there's on your screen now some healthier options, right, yes. for food uh, yes. to maybe, I know, with holidays coming up, but in general, just maybe we can incorporate everyday kind of eating. Yes, that can be everyday. And also when it comes to meat. So yes. I, I did mention before that when you're grilling high grilled foods, the flames do produce a chemical called carcinogens. And that does increase the risk for cancer. So you want to choose more of fresh meats, mm -hmm. uh, your poultry, chicken, turkey, uh, fish. You want to kind of stay away from those processed red meats and red meats, but especially those high flames. We want to kind of Absolutely. stay away from yeah. that. Yeah, and helpful tips there. I mean, I didn't yeah. know about that, so that's always we're learning something new to better uh, increase our health when yeah. it comes to what we eat. On a daily basis. Thank you so much, registered dietitian Bianca Plant, for joining us this morning. We'll be right back.